hey guys, how you doing? This is I Got Wood coming to you from a new Halo Reach map that I've been working on for, uh, well, I was working on up until about three months ago when the Call of Duty bug bit me. Um, anyway, uh, this is a yet untitled uh, big team map that I was working on on Forge World. Um, just a, a, a brief background. Uh, some of the things that I have uh, felt Halo Reach was lacking uh, was a significant uh, big team experience. Um, there are several maps that fall under that category and, and they do fairly well, um, but I was a Halo PC gamer for the longest time and uh, maps like Death Island and uh, just extremely large maps um, were something that I was always interested in and I felt Halo 3 was, uh, was sort of lacking. Um, they brought back uh, Blood Gulch in the form of Hemorrhage which uh, was, was very good but uh, uh, it, it wasn't something that uh, was, was undone or that, uh, that hadn't been done. Um, Forge World uh, in its entirety, I think I think is very good. Um, one quarrel that I that I have with it is that not all of it is really used, and, and and two parts in particular that I decided to utilize were two parts that I felt uh, no one ever really uses. Um, you can see off in the distance, um, you know the 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 hangar is used uh, in several of the uh, the multiplayer game types. Uh, for Griff Ball in the arena. Um, the area above it, I cannot remember uh, for the life of me what map is remade on there. Um, it's the map from Halo 2. It was a DLC map, but I can't remember what it's na named. Uh, of course, the uh, pillar over there was uh, the remake of Ascension, and uh, your Halo 3 map on the island down there as well, uh, as well as uh, the Blood Gulch remake, Hemorrhage, over there. But there are two pieces of the puzzle here that, that no one really uses, and that is these two pieces here, um, as well as this piece that I'm pointing at over here right now. Uh, they're, they're very unutilized. Uh, I don't hardly ever see um, anything other than maybe raceways and things like that that people build for... Uh, for uh, race way type maps that come across these places, but but no real maps, and, and that's that's a shame to me. Um, they have a lot of potential. So what I did was I tried to uh, create and bring back that old style uh, big team battle uh, game type, and and there will be several game types added into this. The bases are kind of generic, um, but that was for the sheer uh, lack of uh, credits that. Uh, we're allowed to spend. I, I know we're allowed to spend a lot more, but as you'll see, uh, I have uh, reasons for why uh, I have so little left. Um, the base, the base is generic. Uh, you'll find um, a health pack and a couple other things in the base itself, and uh, obviously on the top is where your bomb would be planted and or your uh, flag would be picked up. Um, each base has this uh, a little platform like this. Uh, on the base with uh, sandbag coverage and a turret as well as a couple of uh, weapons to grab right off the bat um, that provides coverage. Uh, both teams do have a tank um, but uh, I'll come back to that later uh, and explain to you a, a little bit more detail about that. Um, I did all of the runtime calculations uh, from the spawns uh, so people make it to pretty much every objective that uh, that has an equivalent on each side of the map in, in almost an identical amount of time. Um, there may be slight variances in in terms of maybe a second, um, but uh, for for the red team might have a second on one thing, the blue team might have a second on another. So uh, it does it does equal out fairly well. There are guns um, spread in certain places across the map. Most of them. Uh, have to do with uh, rock uh, 
rocky areas and things like that you'll find for uh, for some cover if you want to pick up a weapon both teams do start with a falcon which uh, once again the run times to get to those as well as to the tank and to the uh, mongooses and the warthog are fairly the same um, the run time if you want to run straight without a vehicle to your first major objective um, as well as uh, the, your first crossing point uh, way to get across uh, the map to transverse from the red side of the map to the blue side of the map um, or vice versa is your teleporter um, now the teleporter uh, actually transfers you over to this side of the map um, uh, this is a neutral base and uh, once again base is lacking a little bit and, and I may come back I have about a thousand credits to knock off and uh, and do some stuff with but um, uh, these satellite dishes by the way are purely aesthetic um, they're here as well as uh, off in the distance for um, the sheer uh, fact of making this map look unique and making this map uh, look like something that's a place that you're not used to if you're fighting off and you just happen to glance over and see the satellite dishes you might not feel like you uh, know where you're at in Forge World. Um, they're just uh, scenery. Um, your neutral base provides power weapons. Uh, there is a shotgun here, um, as well as, uh, and I jumped out like an idiot. Uh, you have your shotgun there, as well as you have other uh, pistol down low, actually, and a health pack and a rocket launcher um, red side the portals are two-way so uh, red side and blue side can uh, swap sides through these portals it's actually a very convenient way to swap sides um, the scenery is obviously a little different on both sides one side's uh, more covenant scenery the other side's more um, more uh, human scenery uh, from the base, both teams um, have several ways to cross to the other side. That would be the first. Um, the second way, uh, I guess, would, or maybe the first way, depending on which one you go to first, would obviously be your Falcon. You could uh, ferry some people across with that. Um, both teams have a platform here that uh, upon coming up on both teams will have uh, the covenant equivalent to the uh, grenade launcher there as well as the sniper rifle and access to a banshee uh, there's a health pack on the back of both of these and a needle rifle and some nice things that go boom uh, sitting there for aesthetic purposes as well as uh, tactical reasons uh, the second Sorry, that would be the third. This is the fourth way to uh, to get across uh, the map would be the vehicle bridge. Now, I specifically made this vehicle bridge so that uh, teams could not carry the tank across. You cannot spawn rape with your own tank. And people are so far apart when the match starts that you should always have somebody in your own tank. Um, unless you just are not covering and you get really freaking unlucky, um, that that should not be an issue. As well as there are plenty of ways, being the Banshee and the Falcon, to tank the tank out. There is a Spartan laser that spawns dead center of the bridge. Uh, so it, it definitely is a race for the power weapons, being uh, the neutral base or the bridge. Uh, you're going to be racing for that, or the snipers, which once again, all of these things have been timed out. They're down to, to within a second or so of each other uh, in terms of who gets there the fastest, and uh, both teams um, have their own advantages and disadvantages. Um, that is your fourth way to get across. Your fifth way to get across is by far my favorite, and by far the way that took the absolute most time and that is the man cannons to line these up took absolutely forever but the end result is a very smooth transition that turned out to be absolutely wonderful and you have once again things that go boom so uh, that helps out a lot uh, the last thing I'd like to mention is that uh, there are a lot of extras here, um, things that I did that were 
just because I like architecture and I like things to look um, aesthetically pleasing and like they could actually exist in real life, not things just hanging in the air. So you'll notice that all of the building structures have building supports and look like they're actually built that way. Uh, it's been great, guys. Um, what I would like to do, no one actually has, has tested this map yet. Um, it is uh, just a work in progress, and like I said, I took about a three-month break from it. Um, I would like to get a group of people together to test this map. Um, big team battle, obviously. Uh, we'll do a range of things. Slayer, we'll do... Um, a little bit of uh, capture the flag. We'll do a little bit of um, uh, you know multi flag. We'll do a little bit of uh, of assault, um, and uh, we'll we'll test out a few different things on it. Um, I would like to get some people if uh, if they are interested, since uh, no one has played this map. This map will not be in my file share until it is completed. Um, to uh, message me, um, private message me on the forums. Uh, with your gamer tag and tell me that you're interested and I will get back to everyone who messages me um, saying that they're interested in playing the map and we will set up a play date and uh, we will be uh, uh, beta testers um, we will test the map out we'll give it a good run through we'll play on it for a few hours and uh, and you know we'll We'll share information. You guys can give me constructive criticism. I'm always open to that, uh, whether it be on here or on there, uh, the game itself. And we will, uh, we'll just, we'll have a good time and uh, get to know some of you guys. And uh, maybe you guys can give me some good ideas, and it'll be wonderful. So uh, um, this is uh, I Got Wood, and uh, this is my hopefully soon to be finished map. I hope you guys enjoyed, and have a good day. Game over.